Wembler of the Wembleyville Lyrics Theater, in case you should have to have us page while we're gone. Yeah. And the emergency room and the fire department, in case the house should catch fire. Yes, Ma. Can we, can we leave sometime, please? All this on and on and on. If we get in the car right now, we might be able to get down there in just in time to see him clean up after the show. And don't forget, give Grandma her vitamins at 6 o'clock, put the medication on her corns at 7.30. Oh, and you can't use a microwave when Grandma's in the kitchen. It sets off her pacemaker, and goodness knows we wouldn't want that. And don't tell her her dog is dead. She still doesn't know that yet. Can't we get somewhere on time for once, for Pete's sake? Honey, I know you're upset about not getting to go to the rock concert, but your dad and I have really been looking forward to seeing Bonnie Franklin's off-Broadway one-woman production of Evita, and we don't get out that much. There will be other rock concerts, I promise. I know. Greetings, neighbors. Hi, Mr. Flopcheck. How are you doing? Just fine, Mrs. Goodman. Still looking for those goddamn UFOs that took my wife. And when they come back, I'll be ready. Geez, I didn't know Mr. Flopcheck was married. He's not. What a freak. Stuart, that's not very nice. Mr. Flopcheck had a very bad experience in Vietnam. And for what it's worth, I think he's coping marvelously. Yeah, when they come back, I'll be ready. It's another that damn fruit cake, if you ask me. Now, you've got everything, right? I'm fine, Mom, okay? It'll be all right, really. My little Stewie's all grown I'm up! I'm getting up with oxygen oh. supply. <laughs> Bert, doesn't our Stuart look all grown up? Dear, 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 you're embarrassing us in front of the whole neighborhood. Oh, quiet. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, and son, I know we've had our differences in the past. I know with that kind of clothes you wear, that loud rock music you listen to, and the fact you haven't worked a day in your life, but I have confidence. I know, Dad. I know. You don't have to say it. I have confidence that tonight you'll take good care of your grandma. And if you don't, I'm going to ship your butt off to military school. Time to break out the part cheesy. Return the 1979 horror classic Sweaty Babes from the Hell, starring Gabe Kaplan, Norman Fell, and Emma Moran, right after this commercial break. Well, Jeopardy certainly has changed since the last time I saw it. Why didn't Alex Trebek have any pants on? I guess I'm just not up with the times. I don't understand. I think I'll go down to the basement for a little while. Is that going to be okay with everybody? I'll go with you! I'll be just fine, Stuart. Me and Chewie are going to sit here and watch the rest of Jeopardy. You kids run on and have your fun. Thanks, Grandma.
Well, what's up, man? Nothing. Don't worry about it, okay? Well, you called me a jerk-off for no reason. I always call you a jerk-off for no reason. Well, yeah, but this time you sounded like you meant it. Look, here's the bottom line. This sucks. This bike's the big one. You know where I should be right now? Do you? I should be in the management at the Wimbledonville Coliseum, puking up blood in a paid toilet while Blacktooth plays her last set. Do I get to do what I want to do? No, I gotta sit around the house on a Friday night with my senile old grandma and her dead dog. Not to mention you following me around like my goddamn shadow. I don't get it. I mean, would you rather go see Bonnie Franklin and Evita or see Black Tooth live in concert? Hmm. I don't know. She was pretty spunky in One Day at a Time. I'm gonna have to think about that one for a while. Forget it. Just forget it, okay? You don't get it. I'm trapped here for the rest of my stupid, useless life. My dad's probably gonna put me in military school. My mom's gonna poison me with her cooking. And I wanna get into a damn thing I wanna do because I gotta babysit my grandma for the rest of my life. Well, maybe we could run away to Canada and become lumberjacks. I'm just sick of my life being so boring all the time. That's all. Why can't I just once do something I wanna do? Just once. Morris, there's a light coming out of this hole. Uh, you see that, Stuart? <laughs> That's not ordinary, right? No. What the hell? It's just a light, right? The light can't hurt you. Jeez, I don't know if you should be doing that, Stuart. Remember in the movie, The Amityville Horror, where they found that weird room in the basement that was painted in human blood? Morris. What? Shut the hell up. The light went out. Yeah, I think that's what happened in the movie. Right before the dad got possessed and started hacking up everybody with a pickaxe. Quiet. I see something. Is it something scary? Is it dripping blood? I bet it's dripping blood. I'm trying to look at this. Morris. You know what this is? It's belonging to my great ancestor, Goodman Benny. I think it's his diary. Goodman Benny? Isn't he that band leader guy? Goodman Benny came to the States back in the 1600s. I remember Gramps and Grandma telling me about him. He's the one who built this house. They also said he was a witch hunter. Witch hunter? Wow. It is with great trepidation that I set these words to paper on this date, July 15, 1693. That's today, Stuart. That's 300 years ago today. Yeah, I know. I am Goodman Benny, a respected and church-going citizen of the township of Wembley. It is on occasion that I am empowered by the church to go forth and seek out those witches and minions of Satan who would corrupt our society. So I guess he really was a witch hunter. Know that I have succeeded beyond all measure in capturing the queen of witches, Morgana of Oberon. It is she who had laid plans to construct a terrible machine known by her elk as the Pazuzu Configuration. This machine would immerse our land in eternal darkness and allow her demonic minions to run free over the countryside. Her construct was thwarted, needing three essential elements in order to work. Meat that is not meat, the clock that counts the beat of a heart, and three drops of virgin blood. Jeez, sounds like the end of Star Wars. You know, right before the Death Star blew up? Before Darth Vader could use it to destroy the Rebel Force? I'm trying to read this, okay? Jeez, okay! I have captured this foul hellion, and using such arcane measures as are allowed to me through the scriptures of our church, have dispatched the creature and her acolytes, acolytes to limbo over the gateway. I have constructed this house where I now reside in order to ensure that dread Morgana will not walk the earth again. This house? 
more. It's, it's not like they were really witches or anything, okay? I mean, these are the same people who thought the earth was flat and drew kites and rainstorms. Yeah, but still... Know that I have left here my ledger as a warning. Three hundred years hence, there shall be a weakening in the spell which binds Morgana to limbo. Do not tempt fate by reading the words which shall crack open the gateway entirely. What words? I think it's right here, see? It says, here are recorded the words of the binding incantation. Don't, don't read it! Jesus Christ, Morse, you're not really falling for this crap, are you? Yeah, well, the guy said not to read it. Maybe it's not such a hot idea to read it, that's all. You're scared, aren't you? Uh-uh, I'm just pointing out something. Fine, then I'll go ahead and read it. Chaduk Nostrum Cha Klatu Baradas Niktu Bla da bla fark de nugen koko oni doko oni watachi wa oni ga suki des. I can't hear you! I can't hear you! I can't hear you! Bing bong bada bing bada bing bong. Hey, nothing happened. See, I told you there wasn't anything to. Gracious, Jewy, excuse yourself. What happened just then? Coincidence, that's all. Just coincidence. Coincidence? Yeah, you know, it could have been a truck going by, it could have been a freak earthquake, it could have been Grandma killing over from a heart attack upstairs. It could have been anything. Yeah, like the gates of limbo opening up, for instance. Morris. Yes, George? Shut the hell up. Look, I'll get you a Coke or something. You like Coke, right? Good. Get you a Coke, maybe you'll stop freaking out on me. Look, Morris. You gotta stop being so goddamn gullible all the time. I mean, if the doorway to this limbo place were gonna open up because I read something out of a book, you'd see it, right? I guess so, Stuart. Well, there you go, then. There is a hallway in my refrigerator. Uh, I saw that, Stuart. There is a hallway in my refrigerator. A goddamn hallway in my refrigerator. Well, okay, I didn't do it, okay? Please don't hurt me. First of all, when Mom and Dad get back from the theater, they're gonna see this and shit dead puppies. And that's not the good part. Oh no, the good part is trying to figure out what the hell the hallway is doing in my refrigerator in the first place. Maybe it's a doorway to limbo. We're gonna have to find out what's in there. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not going in there. Uh-uh, no way. And you can't make me either. Oh, yeah. Well, next time you won't make me, I bet. Keep it quiet, Morris. We don't know what's in here. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, nothing, Morris. Don't worry about it. Jeez. I wonder where all these doors go. I don't know. Let's keep going, huh? It's just a cave. We can go back now, okay? I don't know. I hear voices. Does it sound like a good somebody or a bad somebody? Quiet, trying to listen. It's coming from in there. Well, 
Now that we know somebody's in there, we can go back to the kitchen and call the army, okay? You can go back if you want to. I'm going to see what's in there. I'm not going back by myself. Then stop being a big, fat, blubbery baby and follow me. Well, okay. But if there's some gnarly, hideous monster thing in there waiting to kill us, I'm going to be really upset, Stuart. If there is, then you can just whine it to death, okay? Come on. Oh, man, I don't believe this. I'd like to go home now. Shh, they'll hear us. It's time, my little beauties. <laughs> time that was lost to us when that bastard Goodman Benny banished us to this misbegotten place. <laughs> But all of that, my darlings, my babies, all of that has changed. That's right. Goodman's ledger has been unearthed, and the incantation has been read by one of his descendants. <laughs> We must go forth while time is yet new and secure the final implements of our device. My precious Pazuzu configuration. Once I have completed my machine, you all shall be free to rape this miserable shell of a Oh, jeez, that's that Morgana chick. She's the queen of the witches. So how much do you think a new refrigerator would set me back anyway? <laughs> now, for now, I shall send out my most powerful colleagues, the, the only two who are capable of going up to Earth in the light. My short tongue devil, Lago. They shall go forth and find the three implements of my device. And then, my children, it will be your time! <laughs> I'm sorry. I get an upset stomach when weird stuff happens. What my eyes cannot see. I saw that. Uh, anybody got a clean neck? Do you see, Scully? My precious little imp. Those two horrible boys. The two that dared to walk the earth of my domain. Those two little toads. They were the ones who tried to open the gateway of Earth. And they are the descendant of... Goodman Benny! Oh! I knew it! 
I knew it the first time I smelled his stench. business then, shall we? I want the two of you to go to the earth and find the three remaining parts of my precious machine. And then, I want you to find the descendant of Goodman Benny. Find him and destroy him. The sooner he is gone, the sooner I can concentrate on being a really nasty bitch. <laughs> you know, I never saw a demon before. Suppose we could call up the National Enquirer and tell them I saw a real live demon? No. Well, how about 2020? Robert Walters could come and do an expose on your refrigerator. They could use hidden cameras and everything! No. Well, what are we gonna do? Look, I have a headache. A really bad headache. An adult sized bangaroo. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go up in my room and lay down for a little while. Until I can think straight again. Which may be never. Lay down a while? Lay down a while? How can you go and do something like that? Suppose one of those demon guys come back while you're asleep, huh? Look, don't worry about it, alright? We chained the refrigerator shut. Nothing can get out of that. Call me if anything happens while I'm upstairs, okay? Oh yeah. This is gonna suck. That's better. That's a lot better. Come on, Mom. I told you it's not a school day already. You want some of this? Come on over, baby, and I'll give you some of this right in your goddamn head. Calm down. I didn't come all this way just to hurt you. Yeah, but well, you just better stay right where you are. Uh, I'll combine you so hard you won't know I'd hit you. Just give me the strange weapon and we'll talk, okay? Just talk. I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. Lady, what do I look like, an asshole? Just give me the strange weapon or you'll be sorry. Sorry? I'm already sorry, so come on and hit me with your worst. Everybody wants to do things the hard way. I warned you, didn't I? How'd you do that? How the hell did you do that? Magic, silly. Haven't you ever seen magic before? Oh, God. I think I'm gonna be sick. You sure don't act like a Goodman. How'd you know that? You're Stuart Goodman, the descendant of the great witch hunter Goodman Benny. Any witch worth their broomstick knows that. They do? Oh, yeah. I don't feel so good. Wait a minute. I might regret this, but 
Who the hell are you? I'm Bethany of Oberon. Morgana's my stepmother. What? You mean that evil chick with the Darth Vader duds and that weird looking thing on her shoulder? That's your stepmom? Calm down. I'm not in league with her. I hate her. I was part of her coven 300 years ago when your ancestor banished us to limbo. I didn't want to be. All I want is to be like everyone else, a normal, mortal person. When you opened the gates of limbo, I thought everything was going to be fine. I thought I could escape her, but I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's her machine, the Pazuzu configuration. If she activates, the whole entire world will become like a nightmare. No one, no one will ever be safe again. She has to be stopped, and you're the only one with the power to stop her. I need your help. Whoa, wait a minute. First of all, it's possible that I've hit my head really hard, and I'm having one of those Wizard of Oz type dreams. You know, where Mom, Dad, and Birthday Handyman show up as a Tin Man and the Scarecrow? You're not dreaming. Yeah, right. I've seen ghosts, weird-looking dudes with things sticking out of their heads, and a bunch of witches. Not to mention some creepy freaking thing where my fridge used to be. That sort of thing just happens all the time. If you don't help me stop my stepmother, everyone in this world will suffer her anger, including you. Look, all I want is my house back the way it was before my parents left this evening. Can't you guys come back some other time, like on a Wednesday night when my dad gets home from work or something? Oh no, don't look at me like that, please. All right, all right. I'll help you. Just, just stop looking at me like that. pajama party that soon became a national tragedy. William Shatner, Morgan Fairchild, and Eric Estrada star and Let's Scare Crazy Fat Ethel to Death. Opening soon at a theater near you. Let's Scare Crazy Fat Ethel to Death. It's terror that should only be imagined. I'm glad that Shatner boy is getting some work after those dreadful margarine commercials he did. Geez, I wonder who that could be. Okay, okay. I heard you the first time. Well, you gonna let me in, or do I have to strike base camp on your front porch, civilians? Uh, Mr. Flopchick. Uh, well, I was up at my UFO uh, watching post, and I happened to notice that uh, it's time for my favorite TV show, Nude Mud Wrestling USA. And I can't watch it on my TV because the aliens, the crafty bastards, are controlling my brainwaves through my TV, so I thought I'd come over and watch yours. Yep, I really outsmarted those little green bastards this time. Um, maybe we should ask Stuart first. Say, Grandma, could, uh, could you pass me that remote? My hands are kind of full. Oh, by the way, your dog's dead. Nonsense. Chewy always looks like that when he's asleep. Seven. Now that's quality entertainment. Jeez, Mr. Flopchick, I don't know about this. Oh, I'm so glad all those young ladies are getting work on TV. God, look at the bazooms on that baby. God, I haven't seen so much breast action since I was a grade school teacher. Poor Chewy. Always gets fleas this time of the year. Hmm. I guess I'll have to give her a bath. We'll go get rid of those nasty old things. Come on, Chewy. We'll go up and get a bath. Come on. Come on, Chewy. Good dog. Oh, what is this I see? 
one of the implements of my precious machine, waiting for me to pick it up. Go! Now! Retrieve it! Well, boss, we can't do that at the present time. What? What was that you tell me? I give you a command, Crittens! They got us locked up real good, like. They, they yeah, what he said. Oh. Well, why didn't you say that then? That's perfectly understandable. Not to worry. I'll just conjure up one of my more unpleasant little atrocities from the ninth circle of hell. Now, why don't they make more TV shows like that, huh? Screw that National Geographic crap. God, look at that, son of a bitch. I got wiener goo all over my best fatigues. Holy leapfrogging shit! Shit! God, it's a miracle. God, it's a freaking miracle. Ah, maybe it's not a miracle. Stand aside, Greenhorn. I'll handle Little Miss Bad Attitude. I was trained for this. Oh. Hello, handsome. Oh my God, you think her face is bad. You gotta smell her breath. Ah! <laughs> Did I just hear somebody yell, right? Great! I knew I shouldn't let Morris down there alone. Come on, let's make like a baby and head out. Well... Go get it, Stuart. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, uh, put my friend down! <clears throat> oh, shit. I really screwed up this time. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good here, huh? <clears throat> Are you Abe? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Great. Well, hold on while I do my thing here. You touch him, you die. What a dick. Shit. Is it dead? It better be. I use hydro shock ammo. You get hit with one of those things in the head and you're basically screwed. Auntie M, is that you? Am I in heaven? Hey, hey, girl. I like somebody who really knows their taste in guns. Is that a 357 you got strapped on your hip? I put some ice on it, Pops. I got great grandparents younger than you. So what was that thing, anyway? My wicked stepmother conjured it up from limbo. It's a demon. Whoa. <laughs> Your wicked stepmother conjured it up from limbo. Yeah, well, uh, I got deliveries to make, and I'm out of here. Hot dog. Hey, has anybody seen my hot dog? I think I left it right over there. 
Hot dog? Yeah, you know, a hot dog. Meat byproducts, a little rat guano, sawdust, a hot dog. They don't really put sawdust in hot dogs, do they? Meat byproducts. Meat byproducts. Meat that's not meat! One of the three remaining pieces of my stepmother's machine, she must have gotten it somehow. I have achieved victory. Oh, and Skull, you've done so well, too. You've brought me the meat that's not meat. Oh. <gasps> What's this I see? Bethany's found a new way to Earth, and she's in lead with one of Goodman's descendants. Ah! That's it. No more Mrs. Nice Witch. Now I'm going to get really nasty. Ah! You know, this is really starting to get out of hand. Oh, no. I can feel something. Something bad. Stuart, it's my stepmother's hex. It's coming right at you. <laughs> What the hell was that all about? It's not what you're thinking. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. You okay? You look a little green there, civilian. I'm feeling woozy. Uh-oh. What? What's the matter, kid? Somebody help me! Oh my god, it's a frog! Well, I'm sorry, but frogs are gross. No! I can't be a frog. What will my parents say? This is one of my stepmother's worst spells. Well, can't we fix him back the way he was? This is bad. This is really bad. I could get blamed for this. I don't have the kind of magic to change him back. The only thing that can reverse him back is the kiss of a fair maiden. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely going to get blamed for this. Oh, you might be a lover, but you ain't no getcher. Help to skelter! Help to skelter! Oh, come here, Chewy. Chewy, you just gotta eat something, boy. You're just wasting away. Come on now, you're just wasting away the skin and bones. Come on now, you eat. You eat. Oh, that's a good boy. That's so good. That's so good. <gasps> oh, what in Betsy's name? Huh? James? <laughs> oh, somebody must be on a diet again, Chewy. Well, we can fix that. Here we go. You know, some of us still have to get to our prune juice. She's just a helpless senile lady with dentures, a dead dog, and uh, a pacemaker. Oh my god! The clock that can't the beat of the heart? They're gonna rip her pacemaker out! I gotta go in there and save her.
Chase, what a way to go. Hey, I wonder if I should help. Stuart, I must have broken a nail or something. So what you gonna do with the banana, Stuart? Where the hell did he go? Hell is exactly where he went. Jesus has come and he is pissed. Hey, where'd all the bad guys go? So then that, that demon guy, he threw a knife and he got me right in my dew. Can you believe that? And then he ran off with that froggy guy and that's it. That's all that happened. Great. Now that my stepmother has the meat, which is not the meat, and the clock that counts the beat of the heart, she only needs one more thing to complete the Pazuzu configuration, which is three drops of virgin blood. Ha! <laughs> well, she won't be getting it from me now, will she? <laughs> well, where will she find it? Morris! <laughs> hey, boss. I brought you some dinner. Fried legs. Oh, how nice. <laughs> I love frog legs. <laughs> this is the one? The virgin? Hey, I'm not a virgin. I had sex once. <laughs> uh, sure you did. Now, my little green friend, soon you will help me rule the world. <laughs> Great. It's so nice to be living in a time when women have such high ambitions. I remember when I was a little girl, we couldn't even smoke in public. Can you imagine that? We couldn't smoke. We couldn't drink. We couldn't vote. 
there was this one time that we were going to go out for the evening and see Gene Krupa and his orchestra, I think, or may maybe it was Benny Goodman or someone. Oh, God! You, prepare our amphibious friend and find some way to shut Granny up. When you get through with that, I want you to make sure that Goodman's descendant and his friend do not spoil my precious plan. Destroy them! Gotcha, boss. Go. <laughs> If we are to act in time to rescue your grandma and your rather strange friend, we must move quickly. My stepmother has begun her ceremony to activate her machine. Forget it. What? I can't do this. The save the world stuff. It's like every time I try something, I screw it up. I'm not good with Benny, you know. He wouldn't have let your stepmother kidnap Grandma and Morris. Maybe I'm not the right guy for this, Jack. Of course you are, Stuart. You have all the courage you need. You just don't see it yet. That's all. I just want my life back the way it was before all this. Normal. So do I. Are we going to save the world or what? Because I feel like killing something. Hey! This looks like some kind of entrance. Yeah, but it's not the one we're looking for. Of course it's not the one we're looking for. This may be another way in. This would give us the element of surprise. What if it isn't? Then we all die. Oh, just what we need to hear, folks. I have a very bad feeling about this. Hey, let's stop eating our gums and haul ass. Oh, yeah. This is a really great idea, Pops. Well, it still could be another entrance. What's your light over there? So glad you could make it. Let's show them some hospitality, shall we? <laughs> Just drop something. Focus. Focus. What in the Sam Hill? This thing's stuck. You're gonna have to cover me, Missy. Somebody's gonna be hurting. Why? Well, guess we should go look for Stuart and Bethany now. Funny fruit trick now, Stuart. Focus, focus.
Stuart? Stuart, run while you can. It's a trap. She's right. It is a trap. And you fell for it. I'm a goodman. I guess I was wrong. Oh, yeah? Why don't you go ram a broomstick up your ass, baby? Been there. Done that. <laughs> and here's my stepdaughter, dear Bethany. Perhaps you'll forget your foolish notion that you can live in a mortal world as a human being and be accepted. After all, once a witch, always a witch. Kids today, very well then. I will just have to slit your neck with all the rest of them. And you, my little green beauty. <laughs> hey. Wait up, wait up. Ah! <laughs> Jeez, I feel so violated. Ah, three drops of virgin blood. My wonderful, precious machine is almost completed. Except for one thing. Grandma! Let's operate! Hold it right there, witch bitch! Huh? Oh, more guests. How nice. Kill them!
It's all gone. Hey! <laughs> what about me? I'm still a frog! Well, didn't that Bethany character say that you had to be kissed by a fair maiden? Didn't she? Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll kiss him. What? So I feel sorry for the poor bastard. So what? <sighs> no tongue or I will kill you. <sighs> <laughs> Wow, I'm not a virgin anymore. This is the last time I'm going to deliver pizzas here. Ugh. Sure is a nice day out, huh? Yeah. You're still bummed out about Bethany, aren't you? Let's change the subject, huh? Mom and Dad don't know anything about what happened last night. And Grandma's so see now, nobody would believe her even if she did say anything. Let's forget it, huh? Ancient history. Well, at least I'm back to normal. Ahoy, civilians. And Mr. Flopcheck. I'm looking for those goddamn witches, Stuart. And when they come back, I'm gonna be waiting for them this time. Thanks, Mr. Flopcheck. Oh, man. I don't believe this. You want to go for a ride? Well, yeah. How'd you get back here? A good magician never gives away his tricks. So where are we going? I don't know. Ever been to Stonehenge? Stonehenge? <laughs> hey, guys! You forgot me! Maybe I can find some more flies or something. Come on, Chewy. Come on, Chewy. <laughs> Quit fooling around. It's, it's breakfast time. I wish you wouldn't talk to that. That thing's it's not even alive. What do you do that for? Oh, dear. Well, I just hate babying your mother all the time. Why can't somebody just stop mincing words and tell her that thing is dead? That's just plain nonsense. Chewy is so alive. <laughs>